Hi, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about making a map from the object tracker inside of the color page and bringing it into Fusion. This is something a lot of people have been asking me about. There are a bunch of different ways to do this, including a very similar technique to the one that I'm going to show you here from our friend JRTV. Check that out if you don't know his channel. It is pretty darn cool but I'll show you how I would go about making a mat using the object tracker. By the way, the object tracker is a new feature in Resolve 18 and it's only in the studio version. So if you don't have 18 or you don't have the studio version, well, sorry. <laughs> Let's get into it, shablam. So I've made my selection with the object tracker and I've tracked it back and forth and I have a really good selection. So if I turn off this mask overlay, I can see I can change just our lady here without affecting the background. But let's say we want to put some graphics behind her. We can't really do that in the color page. We'll have to do that in Fusion. But how do we get this selection and output it to Fusion? Well, here's the quickest way I know. I'm gonna take this blue output here. This is our alpha output, and I'll just connect this to our image output right here. And now we have a black and white image. We're just looking at the alpha channel, which is essentially a matte. Sounds good. I'll switch back over to the edit page. And now we have whatever selection we made from the object tracker. Now you'd wanna go through and refine this mat. I'm just showing this kind of quickly for the tutorial, but as long as we have our black and white mat here showing in the edit page, I can right click on our clip and go up to render in place. For our format, we'll do DNX HR 44412 bit, just so it's top quality. And I'll hit render. It'll ask me where to put this. I'll put this somewhere extremely pro and we'll render that out. It'll take just a second. And now we have this just as a separate render. I'll hold down alt and drag this to make a duplicate in the track above. And I'll right click on our bottom track here and go up to decompose to original. What that'll do is switch this back to our original clip and I'll go back to the color page and reset all grades and nodes so that we're back to our original footage. So now we have our original footage and our mat, and let's line them up here in the edit page. I'll select both of these, right click, and go up to new fusion clip. And now if we switch to fusion, we have both our mat and our original footage here in the fusion page. I'll rename this so we don't get confused. And now we can use this mat to help us composite things. So let's make a quick title here. I'll take text plus and merge it over our original footage. We'll just make a big word here so we can see what's going on. There we go. Now we have our text over our lady and we can put the text behind her by using this mat. I'll take the output of the mat and plug it into the mask input of the merge. Then I'll select the merge and go up here to settings and in the inspector and here under channel, Let's go to luminance. And what that will do is just limit this to be inside of our mat, which is not exactly what we want. Let's apply the mask inverted. And now we have this text behind our lady. There we go. Pretty cool. So you can combine this with any other techniques. You can do some manual work and clean up this mat, whatever you wanna do, but that's a great way to get that selection from the color page into the fusion page. I'm sure there'll eventually be a way to automatically do this or even maybe a way to put the object tracker inside of the fusion page. But for now, this is a really good way to do it. I hope that it helps you make wonderful VFX and composites and graphics and things of that nature. And anytime you export a mat like this, well, think about what it would be like if you called it Matthew for long. Because Matt's short for Matthew and Matthew is long. That's a good joke. I think it's still a good joke. I'm a dad, man. I got, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Do you? <laughs>